Hey guys, Zeta here. So today I'm going to be doing a different type of video compared to my normal videos. I know a lot of my normal videos are for people above level 34 and players that are competitive or want to go competitive. But for this video, I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide. I'm going to be commentating an older gameplay of mine for my second account. If you guys don't know, I do have one. I did a video on it. If you guys do want to see me play on my second account more often, just let me know and I can just start posting a series of that. So before I get into the video, I want to let you guys know that this is just my personal opinion. You should not take this word for word. You can do whatever you want with it. If you guys do want to listen to my opinion, that is okay. And if you guys have any questions, either hit me up on Discord, on the Guns of Boom Discord, or comment below, and I'll be happy to help any of your questions. So now for this video, I'm going to be doing it for people who spend money, what to buy with their gold, and what not to do with it. And people who don't spend money, how to earn gold the fastest, and be able to be prepared when you do hit level 34. So I'm going to be starting off for people who are able to spend money and buy gold. So for you guys, I, you guys may know the old quest system was removed so people aren't able to get gold as easily. You can only get 25 gold a day at max level, maybe up to 50 with the daily reward. So what do you guys want to do? For people who do spend money, you should use that to the best of the ability. The guns that I'd recommend for you, especially at lower levels, is either a ranger, which is personally, my opinion, would be the best for lower levels, or a destroyer. Or Thanatos, and if you are like medium level sort of, you can buy Pain, which is also very good, the best machine gun in my opinion. If you guys do want to buy a Ranger, I that will survive until level 34. I recommend you upgrade it if you can to whatever level you can. It'll be very good, and you get a big boost compared to the non people who can't spend money. So now, for people who can't spend money, this is where the tough part happens. What I recommend for you guys is every day, only complete your daily quest and just log off. I recommend maybe making another account, maybe playing another game, watching YouTube. It doesn't matter, but just only do your daily quest on the account and just log off. Try to complete the daily quest as fast as you can. Try to skip the ones that will take you too long. You just do not want to spend time playing. You want to level up as slow as possible while earning the most amount of gold possible. So as soon as you do hit level 34, hopefully you will have the guns ready and the gold ready to be able to compete. Because if not... You will be really screwed. I know a lot of people do end up restarting and making new accounts because by level 34, they weren't able to compete, but they were able to as free-to-play players under level 28 and under level 34. So the guns I'd recommend for you guys really varies. My personal opinion, the best guns that you should go for. I know a lot of people already do this, but the first gun you should buy should be with gun box. It should be either the Death Dealer or the Battering Ram. The Battering Ram does have more damage and a good fire rate, but it does have a lot of recoil. At max level, it does 1.7k damage, so if it does take you a while to get the Ranger, it will be good. I'm not 100% sure on the Death Dealer, but it is a good weapon. If you guys are able to get used to the Batting Ram recoil, I definitely recommend you buy that. After you do buy that, you should just start saving gold. Maybe only upgrade it to the Gun Bucks part. I wouldn't recommend upgrading it to gold. After that, you should just, as, as I said, just only do the login for the daily quest and for the crates every 6 hours. Those Gun Bucks and Health Kits are useful. Also, when you do play at this level, remember to use all your gum, all your health kits and grenades. At this level, they're a lot more useful than they will be later on. Basically, health kits and grenades are almost useless at level 34 and above. I have so many grenades and nothing to do with it because they only do 1,000 damage. That's unfortunately basically nothing at higher levels. So when you do get the Death Dealer, the next gun I recommend is definitely the Hurricane. I know a lot of free-to-play players do use this. It's one of the best guns in the game. Probably the only way for free-to-play players to be able to compete with players that do spend money on the game. I know a lot of people agree that it should get a nerf, including me, but this is a gun that you guys want as a free-to-play player. The health it regens and the damage that it's able to put out is actually insane. Compared to other health regen guns, va um, not Vampire. Vampire is actually pretty bad. Hurricane is easily the best. The other guns just don't, like, they don't regen health fast enough. That's why Hurricane is the best. Once you guys do buy the Hurricane, personally, I'd say you should upgrade it to level 5. It's really personal opinion. If you do have enough gold for the Ranger, I guess you can buy that. So after you do get the Hurricane, maybe get it to level 3 or get it to level 5 after you've decided what you want to do with your gold. You either want to buy a Ranger or a Destroyer. Personally for you guys, I'd recommend a Ranger. It does a lot of damage and you already have a long range weapon with the Hurricane. Ranger is a good choice in my opinion. You have long range and short range. Also, if you do get the Destroyer, that is okay. Destroyer is a very good one. It won't really help you too much short range, but at least you have the Death Dealer. If you do end up getting a destroyer, I recommend you do not upgrade the hurricane with gold and instead upgrade either whatever shotgun you got, either the death dealer or maybe the battering ram with gold. So you have one for long range or one for short range. That's what you want to do when I get one for long range and one for short range. You don't want to get a Thanatos until you either have both 
at least two good short range and long range weapons that you're used to. That's why I recommend getting Thanatos as a third gun. Pain is also an option if you do hit that level. So I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. I hope this did help you guys. If you guys have any other questions or maybe some more tips or any information for me personally, just let me know. And if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe. See ya.